Morning guys, welcome to the video. Guys, look at this outside. Oh, it's snowing. Anyway, because I've been quite busy these last few weeks of brand paneers, social media marks and stuff like that, I haven't really been fully focused on fitness and nutrition, so that is what we're going to do this week. Like this week is going to be full on focus on fitness, nutrition, you know, dial it back in, get back on track, stuff like that, aim for progressive overload. So for you know what, I'll just take you guys along with me. Uh, but first, I'm going to go to a hot yoga lesson. Now, I know what you're going to think, like, what is he up to, what is he doing? But, uh, like, our gym, like the gym I work for, has got hot yoga. And, like, all, like, the staff and all I had to do at once, you know, just so we can explain and and like tell like the the people that go to our gym about it and stuff like that and i actually quite liked it it was like very relaxing and the day after i was like i did have like quite a lot of uh, sore muscles so i thought you know what like me and like, a colleague said you know what like, let's just keep it up let's just do it like every so many weeks or every week so that's what i'm gonna do first I, of course like it's like one of them rooms where you're not allowed electronics so i can't really bring me camera with me but after that i'm gonna get a workout in obviously gonna bring me camera with me Give you guys some raw footage and then just get on with the day. so cold outside it is unbelievable and it's it's actually starting to snow again anyway post workout meal made myself like a little salad there we go it's a mexican rice salad i've got kidney beans bell pepper uh, diced up tomatoes underneath there's rice and tuna and then i've just like sprinkled it with like a uh, lemon dressing also got myself a little cup of coffee for the caffeine gains and as for the workout i do an upper body workout uh, power again uh, start off with the incline bench press, try to get 70 kilos for four reps. Couldn't get that fourth rep as you could see in the footage. So 70 kilos for three sets of three reps. Then I do, what did I do after that? Oh, I done overhead press with like dumbbells for my shoulders. Two back exercises, I did uh, like the rear delt flies with dumbbells and I done pull-ups, three sets of 10. After that I done two arm exercises, I done the bicep kill machine and I done like easy bar skull crushes, finished off with some shrugs and then after that, which I didn't film, I just done some um, some chin ups, just, just for a laugh, really, just to feel you, just see how far I could get. Anyway like guys, let me know in the comments down below, like what, how would you want me to film like gym footage, just want like a proper cinematic edit, or just like it the way I do it now, where I just do it like raw, so you can actually like see what I'm doing in the, in, in the gym and like what I do during my workouts. Anyway, I'm gonna devour this and then get some work done. What's going on guys, weird little turn of events, got called into work like proper like last minute, said like is there any chance you could come in now because like the, I think because of the storm and all that, uh, quite a lot of staff can't come in and I, I live relatively close by so they asked like do you want to work, I said alright fine sound, no problem, but I've got to walk because the weather is too bad to drive or bike, all oh, these guys fucking hell. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna like finish the video here and resume the rest of the video tomorrow.
You know what? It's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought it would be well worse than this. What's going on guys? So next day, uh, that was horrible going to work in that snow, but I'm gonna let me just turn the radio off. There we go. Oh no, that was worst thing ever, walking in that snow, it was all getting in on my eyes and all stuff like that, it was so cold. And then like in the end, there was like hardly anyone in the gym. So they just said to me like, you can just go whenever there's like no one else in the gym left. And there was one fella that stayed till like half past 10, so I had to wait until he left, until I could actually like, uh, finish up, clean up and then um, close up. Anyway guys, today I've got two like uh, prospect meetings, so meetings to potentially sign like clients for social media marketing. So uh, basically when I go there, I just like uh, explain like, what I do and I also ask them like what, what the problem is, like why are they thinking about doing social media or like hiring someone to do social media marketing. So basically what I do is I do Facebook ads for them, I do content creation for them, I do Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever you name it, I can do it. So I've got two of them coming up today. So what I do beforehand is I, I create like a sort of social media order. So I just look at all the socials if you've got them and just see like where the problems lie, like what, what kind of uh, things are they doing wrong or not doing at all. And then I take that with me into the meeting and I explain like how I can fix that or how I can make it better, how I can earn them more money because in the end, like social media marketing all revolves around getting more clients for their business. And so hopefully, uh, hopefully I can sign at least one of the two today and then get them on like a retainer so they pay me like a monthly uh, wage basically or like a monthly fee and then I just do social media marketing for them. Not even sure if I'm gonna put that in the video, I just wanted to get it like documented for myself. Also what you guys reckon on a little Christmas jumper, getting in the Christmas spirit. Anyway enough messing around i'm gonna prepare for the meeting i'll let you guys know like how it went and i've got like two more meetings this week so what i'll do is after this meeting i'll explain like how i get potential clients for social media marketing meeting's done just had both meetings back to back so i'm a little little tired like i'm just gonna act after this i'm just gonna chill for a minute relax for a bit and then get some work done uh both meetings went well i think like uh, I I didn't close either of the meetings. Like, uh, I didn't get them to like to, to sign like, the the name of the dotted line or anything like that. But the first two meetings were obviously just to like get to know the the companies a bit more, uh, just see like where the problems are, and then uh, like I explain like what I can do. Like I showed them like my solutions towards it basically, and then uh, they asked for my rate. I explained like. Uh, how I work, I, could, I get them like a retainer, so I, I offer like, or I ask them for like a monthly fee, and then I do like all the social media and all like the stuff that they want me to do. And both companies said like, okay, we'll, we'll think about it. First company was a bit iffy about the, like my monthly rate or like the retainer fee, because they're like a relatively small business. Second company wanted me to actually like physically be there at least one day a week to sort it all out, and I said like, I've got my home office. I don't really need to physically be there. Like that sort of destroys the whole, uh, or defeats the whole purpose of like online marketing basically. And I understand like where it came from. Like obviously you do want to see what someone's doing. You want to see like how how is it how is he getting on and stuff like that. But like I said, like I would rather work from home because I am more effective in my home little environment. So both companies said like you know we'll think about it. We'll get back to you. Uh, in terms of how I get clients, because like I said before, like I, I was going to explain how I get clients. Uh, there's three ways I get clients, or three ways I get meetings for clients. Like obviously, I do need to close, uh, like close them on a meeting. But uh, three ways. Number one is through a sales funnel. So I think I explained this a few videos ago. Like I was talking to an American company to get like a sales funnel in place. Uh, basically, that is like an automated email sequence. So they, that, first of all, I create like a, a, a free product or a free piece of content which acts as like a sort of ethical bribe, which is my ebook. So I've got an ebook which is uh, which I promote on social media through paid advertisement. Then once they download the ebook, they get like a sequence of emails. Uh, first emails about getting to know me, create, uh, create rapport with the, the person who's reading this, so sort to of get them to, to like to, to like me basically. Second email is more about trust, so I try and build trust with the client. And then third email, I challenge them, so I, I offer uh, audits. So I offer to uh, look at the social media profile and see if I find anything that I can improve. 
And then the last email is where I challenge them and say, okay, well, you know, who I am, you know, what I do, now is the chance for us to work together. And then I offer uh, to like appoint or create like an appointment with me and then we can talk about any type of collaboration. That is uh, method number one. Method number two, I'm going to let me put the camera down because it is quite heavy on the arms. I had a workout yesterday, so a little tired. Anyway, uh, I can, way number two or method number two to get meetings for clients is through like commission fees. So basically I offer 10% commission off my retainer fee to anyone who can get me a client. So I've just explained to people like, okay, for example, let's say I close a client for 100 euros, for example. Then if someone can get me a client for 100 euros, I will give that person who got me that client for 100 euros, 10 euros commission per month that that client stays with me. Obviously like the rates are much higher, but just to make it easier, just to break it down for you, that's why I use the 100 euros. So that's method number two. Method number three, is a method that I'm not really that good at and I think it's quite difficult but I have, I have managed to get one meeting this way is through cold calling either through uh, like actually going to the company itself uh, either through uh, calling the company like by phone or just sending like a, either an email a message or a DM on Instagram this third method is like the one that I am at least good at uh, first of all because I don't really have the confidence to just walk up to a company and say listen you're doing shit on social media, I can do it better, you know, pay me money and I'll do it for you. And second of all, I think that if you do that, then, like, obviously, like, if you walk up to someone in the street and say, listen, I, you know, uh, do this or buy this off me and, you know, give me so much money and I'll do this. Like, obviously, the first thing you're going to think is, no, you know, leave me alone. I don't want it. I don't need it. Leave me alone. I don't even want to listen to your offer. You know, I just want to get my stuff done and be done with it. And I think like with the email sequence, if you get to know me better or if you get to know my service or the quality that I provide, it's much easier to say yeah. And in terms of like commission and fees and stuff like that, like if someone you trust like says that they should use me, there's going to be a much bigger chance of them saying yeah than me actually phoning up saying you should use me. So those are the three ways that I manage to get meetings for clients. So obviously in a meeting, I do need to close them. But obviously, like, you know, if you go into the meeting, you're obviously interested. So you know, there's a big chance of me closing them. So I'm hoping to close at least one of these two meetings that I've had today. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to chill. And then after that, I'm going to get some work done. I'm going to wrap up this video here. I'm going to try and get like two vlog type of videos per week. So no more talking videos, no more Wednesday wisdom videos. Because I've, I've noticed that no one's really watching them as much as they used to. So it's time to refresh things up a bit. So I'm going to try and do one very fitnessy type of video and then one video more focused on content creation but i'm going to try and balance both fitness and content creation or social media marketing in both videos anyway guys like this video if you like this video comment down below what you thought of this video and if you've got any tips for me or any tips for or ideas for videos future videos in general i can't even talk that's how you know i just need to relax i need to chill anyway guys like share comment subscribe i'll see you guys Gotta do what I gotta do.